So the following message, symbolic address has been assigned more than once within a CPU. Let's double click on this message. So it's going to take us to the PLC card or in this case, this is the overview representation. And let's now go to the other side to the multi-line representation counter piece. So this connection point when we of this PLC card, let's double click on it. The PLC connection and the symbolic address. In this case, the symbolic address is assigned automatically, which is in fact the device tag of this element of this device plus the connection point. And you can see over here, so the device tag and Y as a connection point over here. In this particular example, this means that there is probably one device with the same device tag has been connected, has been connected to two PLC connection points. So we have several of these and let's see, this is the device tag over here. Let's click on the next message. Go to counter piece to go to the multi-line presentation. And now let's see over here. So we see the problem. In this particular example, my colleagues send discipline project to me and then I do this over here. So I check the project for errors and then send it to the customer for the final acceptance. So that's the same device tag on two places. And this is clearly a, a, an error. So let's for this one input 100 and OK. And let's see if you're going to solve this message now. Check project. I've used this one, ePlan5. Seems like we now don't have this problem anymore. Let's scroll down to the bottom. And this one is now solved. The other possible solution, the other possible scenario would be that if you manually input the symbolic address, let's say just Epsilon connection, let's say over here, and let's say for this ne next one, also Epsilon connection, if as I said, you want to input manually the symbolic addresses. Let's now run the check project. And let's try to see if we now have. So we once again have the same problem. We have four of these, so let's click on the last two because these are going to take us directly to the multi-line representation. So the first one is over here and on the second place, the next one. So this is in reality our simulation 12 and 16. Hold control the keyboard to select both of them, then properties. And we see for both of them, of course, that we have the same symbolic address. And this is a problem and you know how to solve this, of course, through the inputs over here, one, to differentiate, and let's say over here two, and let's now run the check project, okay. And it seems like we solved this message. And that's it regarding symbolic addresses.